I have an article here that may be a bit shocking for some. Uh, I was planning on putting it on the site this morning as I do my updates daily on the blog, and uh, but I my internet went down, and so I couldn't do anything. And in the meantime, I was thinking, well, maybe this should be a video. And so the internet finally came back up, and I decided I just posted this article here, which I had the other day, which is more or less about the Pope. It looks like he sent terrorists to China because diplomatic talks there are failing big time. Uh, and we all know he has to get in there. He wants to talk to them about, quote, unquote, climate change, but we all know what, what that's about. And that's a whole other video, so I'm not even going to get into that. Uh, but uh, I found this article on Breitbart this morning. And here it is right there. Real-life Hunger Games-themed Internet show will allow actual rape and murder. Look at the, uh, the URL down there below. But if you click it, look at that. They pulled it for some reason. And so I actually had the article. I pulled the, you know, like an excerpt out of it so that I could post it on the blog. But while my Internet was down, they obviously pulled this article. But I still had the original source of the article being the Siberian Times. And so I went there. And here you go. It's true. They're actually in a set of some kind of a hunger game in Siberia. And the basic theme of the game is to survive until April of 2018. The show's producers have instituted a simple rule, they say here. And that rule is, let me scroll down so I can find it on this article here. There it is. There it is right here. It says everything is allowed. Fighting, alcohol, murder, rape, smoking, anything, right? And I thought, okay, this is a bit crazy. I mean, look, by the way, look at the, this is also what they got to deal with. Look at these bears that they have on that island. They're saying that we will refuse any claim of participants, even if they were to be killed or raped. And it goes on from there. So that all being said, do you still think Christian prophecy, especially Christian prophecy about Armageddon, wherein the majority of the planet will seek to kill Sabbath-keeping Christians because the Pope and his dying God blames us for all the crazy natural disasters and calamities that are getting worse all over the earth because we refuse to receive the mark of Rome that they stated in writing more than once is the Vatican Sabbath of Sunday? I mean, have you seen my video titled By Beholding Most Will Become Killers? I did that quite a while ago, years ago. I mean, look around right now. In today's end time society, we have violent movies, violent video games, satanic music, and all sorts of other crazy things to try to help cultivate a bloodthirsty mindset in the people. We also have violent sports and even cash crazed people in televised courtrooms claiming it would make a lot of money if they televised government executions. I actually did a video about that some time ago too. And now we see this internet show based in Siberia that will allow murder to be televised as a sport. Can you not see the dying God of this world is literally building his troops for Armageddon for the great and dreadful day in the hopes of eliminating the people of God before the eastern sky splits just as prophecy predicts he will? If not, then you might be in that bloodthirsty crowd. Thank you for watching. God bless.